morning, good people, and welcome back to A Moment on Mondays with your girl, your sister, I'm your friend, and personal growth coach, Stephanie R. Strong. And this morning, I'd like to speak to you about born to birth. But before I do, I first want to say that it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me, and I am indeed happy. But nothing makes me happier than to be able to spend the first Monday of this week on my birthday with you and those who are joining me on A Moment on Mondays. So good morning to you. I want to start with born to birth because I know that in 2019, something super phenomenal is going to happen to me because I am in anticipation. I'm in a spirit of expectation. And I believe that something is going to happen in this year and the years to come that's going to blow my ever-loving mind. And I believe that. Do you believe that for yourself? That in 2019 and the years to come that you are, in, first of all, in a state of expectation and anticipation because something super phenomenal is going to happen to you and for you in 2019 and the years to come? Well, get excited because I just believe that there's going to be a turnaround season for you. And I'm not just saying that. I do believe that some of you are going to experience some serious uh, victories and I want to be there to celebrate with you. But born to birth. Well, I'm going to use a metaphor of a birth, the, the birth cycle, which we know in, in terms of procreation and all that good stuff, um, to parallel that with you birthing your dream. So let's start with the very beginning. We know that sexual intercourse has to take place before conception occurs. But let's say conception has occurred and now the, the mother and the father are now looking forward to the birth of this child. What do they do? They go and tell somebody. They tell their family and friends about the good news. They go to doctor's appointments. They they go and, and, and look at baby clothes and look at baby furniture. They prepare for the arrival of this baby. And so I like to subscribe to you that God, in my own faith tradition, I believe that God has conceived in you and me a dream that he intends to bring into fruition. <clears throat> you know, oftentimes we talk about everybody has a purpose. And I do believe that. And I believe that you were created for a purpose. I was created for a purpose. And that is God's intention for us to live out our purpose in reality. But here's something just a little bit different. I believe that God has conceived in our womb, conceived in our heart, conceived in our minds, conceived in our spirit, a dream that is going to help facilitate our purpose. And his intention is to bring that dream into reality so that you can fulfill your purpose. Your dream is a vehicle for you to fulfill your purpose. And I love that idea. And just like conception takes place, God has conceived in you a dream. And so now how are you preparing for that? How are you charting the, the growth of that dream? How are you making sure that you're showing up for um, an engagements and opportunities and learning experiences and all the things that's going to help this baby, uh, this dream just grow along and, and, and progress along the way? See, it's so important to understand that you have a dream inside you. You cannot even get away from it. It has been placed inside you by the divine nature of of God and divine will of God. And it has to give birth. It has to give birth. So you are, 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 are commissioned to help that process. And so I want to um, do, um, just kind of track this thing with, okay, conception, you start pre preparing for the um, birth of your child and the, and the birth of your dream. Now, Sometimes a mom has morning sickness. Sometimes she's bedridden. Some are bedridden or on, on bed rest, right? Sometimes she has aches and pains. You're going to have some aches and pains on this way to birthing your dream. Sometimes you're not going to feel like it. Sometimes you're going to be afraid. Sometimes you may lose track of it. But let me encourage you today that as surely as God has conceived a dream inside of you, he will bring 
bring that dream into a beautiful expression of your life. But you've got to be able to keep going. You have to be able to visualize it. You have to be able to prepare. You have to see it, although it hasn't materialized. You got to go out and make sure that you are tracking and that you are putting some metrics in place to let you know that you have, um, you are making some progress. But the one thing that you cannot do is you cannot give up. You have to stay the course. You have to be in a spirit of anticipation, a spirit of expectation. Who are you telling about your dream? Who are you sharing that with? Who's your accountability partner, right? You got to go out and tell people about it and tell and invite people to celebrate with you. I am telling you, I believe this in my heart of hearts. And I have tried many of things and have some successes and I've had some few little, you know, let downs. I won't call them failures. They're just lessons. So, um, but I do know this one thing for sure that you and I were created for a purpose and the dream is to help us fulfill our purpose. So there is no one without the other. And the last thing that I want to say to you, don't you dare end up in the grave with your dream buried inside of you. You start today. You go out and tell people about the vision in, for your life. And in the in the fullness of time, you will not only um, track your progress, but you will be able to give birth to a beautiful dream that will not only bless you, but bless others and also improve our society for the greater good. And I speak blessings over you. I speak progress over your dream. I speak imagination and I speak all of the right people at the right time coming into your life. And I cannot wait until I start seeing some of your dreams come true. And I promise you when my the next level of my dream comes true, I promise you, I will tell you all about it. Well, that's all that I have for you today. I look forward to seeing you in two more Mondays. I would love for you to check out my book, When Tulips Bloom, a personal guide for blossoming through the difficult seasons of life. So make sure you go check it out on Amazon.com and come visit me at PresenceWithPurpose.com. I would love to see you. Until then, make this your best day ever.